Hey guys, this is Blue Tea Support, a knowledge base to help you have a better experience with Blue Tea. Today we're introducing you to the AC500's intuitive LCD display. This touchscreen is a multifunctional display for real time machine status, system settings, and more. Press this. You can check the battery voltage, current, state of charge, and BMS state. Press this and select On. Then you're able to charge your power hungry devices via the AC outlets. To confirm how the AC outlet works, press this AC load. You can see the output power, voltage, current, and frequency. Select off. The AC power is automatically turned off. Check out the DC. Select on. Likewise, Press DC load. You'll see the total output power and voltage as well as the information of every output. Press PV to view the PV input voltage, current, and power. Attention here, AC500 is capable of 3000 watts PV input at 12 to 150 volts, 1500 watts per DC input source. Please use appropriate solar panels. For example, three PV350s for one input. Press grid and you can view the AC input voltage, current, and power. Inner setting, because you may need to adjust the language or frequency for first use. Now it's set to the default setting for the US. The DC input source helps to set the correct DC input source. This DC input cable is divided into two circuits. DC1 and DC2 input. Each of them contains an individual MPPT. When you use solar panels as the supplement, the DC1 or DC2 input source should be set to PV. You also need to disable the PV parallel. As for other DC power sources, like the car or lead acid battery, choose others. Press next to change the system language and date. AC500 also has Eco Mode, and we advise you to turn it on to save power. You can set up a split phase system according to your electricity needs. Here you can opt for standard, PV priority, time control, and customized UPS modes. Standard UPS. Your AC500 is charged to 100% SOC and takes over to power your gadgets whenever the grid goes out. Time Control UPS. This mode will greatly reduce your bills. Simply choose the favorable time to charge AC500 and use it to power your home during the electricity peaks. PV Priority UPS. You can gather as much sunlight as possible, which will pay you back in the long run. Customized UPS. You can build an uninterrupted power supply to your preference by setting the grid charge status, time control status, and time and SOC settings. By turning it on, you'll get charging without much noise. Please note here that AC500 can charge faster with a higher current, but please contact us before you take action. Back to the home page. Enter the data page and you can check the product information, inverter and charger information, and BMS maintenance, and the fault history. Here you can see a record of all generated errors. Here we'll show you what problem your AC500 has. If there is any error, please contact our customer service with the error number. That's all for today. Please follow us for more videos and let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.